Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. We're going to be having some updates coming in the Uprising expansion. Ooh, shocker. We're having a lot of big changes in the upcoming expansion. And this time we've got actually some big changes announced by CCP regarding security status and how penalties are affected by doing different criminal activities and also how uh, abyssal dead space is going to be sort of uh, you know not as easy to do as before in high sec you're going to still be able to do abyssal dead space don't worry about that but you're going to probably be having to relocate where you're doing abyssal dead space so let's dive into this when it comes to ganking and griefing you're not griefing but like just attacking other players destroying other players for the sake of uh, destroying other players um this is going to be a bit more difficult you can still do it P evil line is a pvp game be able to pvp everywhere but high say ganking is going to be uh, penalized a bit more strictly than it was previously so what does this mean well tethering structures is going to be limited uh, depending on your security status so when it comes to a player in EVE Online, if you commit a criminal activity, your security status here is reduced. I pretty much commit no crime at all and do activities that boost my security status. So I'm at the max. Max is your 5.0 security status. Uh, but you can be negative security status. It means you're like a very big criminal. So if depending on what kind of security status you've got, you're not going to be able to tether in structures like citadels, for example. So you can see here in this table, you can just take a look for yourselves, but you see minus two or below, no tethering 1.0 minus 5 4.5 and below means you can't even you know tether in high sec at all so there are going to be big restrictions there and then there's also going to be restrictions in how you can dock because docking is going to actually be limited uh, not in terms of using your capsule but docking with a ship is going to be limited depending on your security status in high sec so if we look here where if you have a minus 5.0 security and below you're going to be considered an outlaw and what does that mean? It, you're not going to be able to dock up. Now, this just means in a ship. So say I you know, leave my ship and I'm in a capsule. I can still dock up, so it's not like impossible to enter a station. But logistics for outlaws and criminals is going to be severely uh, more difficult in high sec. I'm not an expert at ganking, but I can see a lot more criminals being uh, relocating to a low sec and null sec, for example. It's not going to be less in high sec, and perhaps they'll go to high sec for ganks, but they won't be living here as much, making overall life a bit more difficult for high sec ganking. Now, because high sec ganking is going to be more difficult, they're adding limitations for alpha clones and this is what something that i really like the other one changes i'm a bit indifferent about because i think that it's good that you know like me personally i'm very biased opinion i do a lot of activities in high tech i'm often the victim of gankers so i like it when people are getting you know uh restricted in terms of their ganking i like it me personally but uh for the game overall i think it's got like a, there's a thing to having you know gankers because it improves the vibrancy of the game it gives a bit more risk reward kind of factor makes a bit more it make your actions being more worth it than if you've got a bit more risk associated with it but something that i think that is really important is that when you've got these penalties it's going to make it so that people are going to make a lot of throwaway alpha accounts because they're just going to be able to bypass this with their main accounts and especially when you got like you know free links like you can find in the description down below where you can get like one one million skill points on a fresh new character you can easily make a free alpha clone get a million skill points train to a catalyst and start ganking people uh, this is obviously going to be a big loophole to these changes so what they're going to do if they're going to make it so that you can't put red security in a high sec now this is a really big thing because i just in general i never liked the idea of cheap or like free uh, like completely free players being able to just gank people straight away because you want to be very innocent and not commit any crime you can just easily just make a free account and just gank and use the most popular ganking ship in the game or pretty much the most popular ship in the game the catalyst as an alpha i think there's a bit overpowered how people are able to make tons of fleets of these uh free accounts and just gank people like that so Alpha clones are straight up not going to be able to gank anymore in high sec. They're not going to be able to use red security at all, actually. So this is just in high sec. Uh, they can still use uh, red security in low sec. They can also still use in high sec the yellow security. And this makes it so that you can uh, like steal wrecks, for example. But this disable security or disable safety is not going to be possible for alpha clones anymore in the uprising expansion. I am really happy about this. We'll see how this uh, changes this landscape of New Eden. I can see there being a lot less gankers actually because of this, because probably I can see a lot of gankers being alpha clones. Because I notice when you look in the ZQ board, you see a lot of the catalysts that are in the fits. They are like got tech one modules, and partially because it's cheap, but I think it's also because a lot of them are alpha clones. So I think just in general we'll be seeing less gankers, and combined with the fact that we've got 
these other penalties to docking and tethering, I can see us seeing a lot less gankers in general. But on the flip side, we we'll probably have for the people who are like who want to be like a pirate in the game, they're probably going to be focusing low sec. So I think we'll have less uh, criminals in high sec and more in low sec. And I like that. I think that's a good uh, change because it'll make it feel like it'll give low sec that sinister feeling. It'll make it feel like, okay, this is where the evil people are. This is a very proper dangerous area of space because some low sec systems are like just so quiet. There's nothing going on there. It just feels like almost like high sec is safe as high sec. Obviously, many of them are not as at the same time as well. Many low sec systems right now are very dangerous, but uh, I can see this making low sec and null sec as well being uh, like a hotspot for criminal activity. Like this is where the criminals hang out. Okay, so ganking in general is going to be more difficult, and alpha clones are not going to be able to gank at all in the pricing expansion. So this is the this is the big topic that actually concerns me a lot. Uh, Abyssal Dead Space is going to be changed in terms of what kind of filaments you can run and where you can run them in high sec. Uh, this affects me a lot, and I'm not like, in a way. I like how I'm always going to be a bit sad that Abyssal Dead Space is going to be limited. I love it when you get buffs to Abyssal Dead Space because I love their activity, but I see why they do it. I see why they do it, and I see the motivation and why they're doing it, and I'm actually um, seeing that I think this is an all right change. I think this is an all right change. I'm not like, I'm just not like, oh, no, you're nerfing Abyssal Dead Space because this is the changes here are going to be big nerfs to Abyssal Dead Space, but I think it's all right. I think it's actually a good thing, and it makes Abyssal Dead Space a bit more difficult and gives a greater aspect of value to this activity. So what is the big change? Well, there are multiple changes, but the big one is that there are no abyssals at all are going to be run in 1.0 systems and 0.9 systems. This means that here in Jita, where we are right now, we can't anymore run abyssal dead space. And that is a big thing for me because you see me in the videos all the time. I always run abyssal dead space in Jita. I, just, I run them 24 seven here. Uh, this is my go-to place to run abyssal dead space. It's not going to be possible anymore. And CTP's motivation is that they believe that the reward you get from Abyssal Dead Space is too high for the risk. And a way to reduce that risk is but firstly by putting Abyssal Dead Space into lower security state systems. This means there's going to be more opportunity for gankers to gank you because you're going to like, have more time. The gankers are going to have more time to gank you. But it also means that there's going to be a larger jump between trade hubs, apart from HEC. The HEC trade hub is 0 0.5, but all other trade hubs, as far as I know, are 0 0.9 or above. This means that transporting your abyssal dead space loot is going to be a bigger thing than it is now because the major the CCP announced in their data that uh, the majority of abyssal dead space sites actually run in this very system here, Jita, and the transport of loot is minimal. You just dock directly up in the station, an instant dock bookmark, super safe. There's no point of really getting like, there's no point of interception for you to get ganked. So. Uh, there is going to be a transport of abyssal loot in multiple systems that is going to be points of interception for gankers. Now, obviously, if you are prepared enough, you can probably avoid the majority of the ganks, but it's still going to make it a bit more risky to do abyssal dead space sites in terms of the transporting of the loot. And also, just in general, the gankers are going to have an easier time ganking you in 0 0.8 systems or below. Then, what is another big change, and an even bigger change in my opinion, Suspect flag is going to be re-added to EVE Online when it, you're doing high tier abyssals. So you can see here there's a table. 1.0 and 0 0.9 systems you can't do any abyssal dead space site. In 0 0.8 systems you can however do only T0 to T3. After that you get a suspect flag. 0 0.7 T5 to T6 gives suspect flag. So this is actually a pretty good place to run T4s. I like running T4s so I'm probably going to be running a lot of T4s here. And then 0 0.6 T only T6 gives suspect flag and 0.5 you can run all abyssal dead space sites without getting a suspect flag but 0.5 systems are very dangerous in terms of gankers now, if you get ganked in a 0.5 system doing an abyssal dead space site there's almost zero chance you'll be able to survive that because the time for Concord to respond is so long that you're just pretty much any ship is going to get popped that can run an abyssal dead space site unless you have some crazy nirvana tank killer but even then it's going to be very easy for even small gang fleets to kill you because of how much time they'll have to destroy you on the other hand it will give a lot of time for the gila to potentially take out the gankers but still or the abyssal dead space runner not every abyssal dead space runner uses the gila funny enough they do actually use other ships but it's uncommon um so this is a big change. We're not going to see T4s even remotely close to Jita, or maybe there are some 0 0.7 systems here and there. Yeah, there is actually in Moval Island. We could run T4s here, uh, hypothetically. But they are going to be uh, more spread out, at least uh, in terms of the high tiers. They're going to be spread out all over the place. 
and it's going to make it more likely for them to get ganked, bigger kill males. But at the same time, you think that, okay, there's more gankers, but the, they're sort of balancing it out because it's going to be a bit more downsized to ganking as well in terms of the penalties, as we mentioned before. So I think it's going to be a good change. It's going to make this high sec feel a bit more safe, and then people doing Abyssal Dead Space are going to feel less safe. But still, there's it's going. To, I think it'll be good. I think these are going to be good changes. It's just, uh, the feeling I get from this, uh, it feels good. But we'll see how it is when the update actually drops, because... This is a very complex universe we live in. There are many variables to take into consideration. It can turn out very differently to what I expect. But I'm welcoming these changes with open arms, even though I run a lot of Abyssal Edge Space in Gita right here. <laughs> so we've got a big changes coming up. T6 is only going to be possible without a suspect flag in 0.5 systems. Otherwise, you're going to get a suspect flag. This is going to make so that, you know, you're going to guaranteed get a gank because if you find a high tier filament in these other systems that is going to potentially give a suspect flag, you can, hunt, you can just have a basic PvP ship and take out these PvE ships, no problem. And then so there's going to be a lot more riskier. And then big restrictions to the systems you can run them in. No 1.0, 1.0, Alpha clones, no ganking, docking and tethering restrictions for criminals. So this, I think this is going to reshape the landscape of your online. More criminals in low sec and null sec, changing how high sec is, making the dynamic of Abyssal Dead Space very different. Let's see how the uprising expansion entails. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's it for now. We've got some security changes on the way. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.